I'll tell you a little about the history of the peace pipe. During the that period of time, there there's a lot of buffaloes, but sometimes the buffalo would disappear, and the people would go hungry. And it was one of these times that hunters were going out, coming in empty. No buffaloes, no wild games. And they feel that God has punished them for doing something wrong. And they prayed. And two hunters were returning from a tree, you no know, sitting on top of the hill. The people back home are depending on them to find buffaloes. And they were, they felt bad because they have nothing to tell the people. There was, they didn't find any wild games. As they sat on top of the hill, they saw something moving in the, in the north. It was approaching pretty fast. And they sat there wondering what it was. When it came near, it was the most beautiful woman they ever saw. One of these men had bad intentions. He liked the woman and had evil mind. His evil mind began to work. And the other one was afraid because he never saw a woman like that before, even among the own, their own people. And the woman stood a little ways and called the one with the evil mind motioned him to come over and a cloud engulfed the two and when it was cleared away only skeletons remained. He was no more. His life was taken from him and all his flesh was gone out of his bone. And the woman said, you go home and tell your leader that, it will, that I will come to see him. So he got up and he started to run. When he got back, he told the chief and the leaders, he said, there is a mysterious woman, a holy woman. And he told the chief what happened to the other man. So they put up a teepee, the biggest one they have, and they got ready. And the woman came over she had a bundle. She presented this bundle to to the chief. She opened it and pulled out a peace pipe. They didn't they never knew the peace pipe before. Presented to, to the chief. He said, The great spirit sent me. He wants you to have this pipe. And when you are in need, and when you are in trouble, you must use it in your prayers to the Great Spirit. And He will answer your prayers. There was no doubt about it. He said, she said, He will answer your prayers. He will give you what you need. And when she started out, everybody watched her. She went little ways, and she was engulfed by a cloud. And when that cloud disappeared, there remained a white buffalo calf. And that was a sign of plenty. She went further, and there was a buffalo going toward the hill. From that day on, they prayed, and the buffalo returned. So that was the story of the peace pipe. And we still have it. Yes. And we pray every summer.